My most embarrassing school story. I'm surprised I haven't made a video on this before. When I mean embarrassing, I don't mean uh, cringy. I genuinely just mean embarrassing, unfortunate. It's a pretty uh, structured story, so hopefully you guys will enjoy it. If you want to see more story videos, leave me a like. Uh, it's great seeing my videos get loads of likes. It just it really motivates me because it makes me think that real people actually enjoyed the video. I want to make videos that you guys enjoy pretty much. So let's let's get right into the story, okay? It all happened in music, which, believe it or not, is a school subject which is compulsory between the years of year seven to year nine. Yep, that's right. Three years you have to do music for. Now, what's the skill in music? Like, we're not making songs. We're literally just singing or playing instruments, which I don't understand how that needs to be compulsory. It's the same with art. Like, I could probably make a whole video ranting about it. Actually, Cameron, that's... Actually, Cameron, that's a good video idea. Better write that down, okay? Write down right now, okay? Write down, okay? <laughs> but pretty much, music is completely pointless. And you have to do it between year 7 and year 9. Now, how our school did it is we had one hour a week just doing music. And what would happen is the big teacher would be like, Okay, go in groups of four, and you have to sing this song, which you've probably never heard of before, and you have to sing it and perform it in front of the whole class. And then you're like, well, that's, that's goddamn horrendous. I swear it's so stressful when you know you've got to do something like a presentation. Now, I'm not shy, believe it or not, hence why I shout all the time. It makes you really anxious when you have to perform or something because you always know that there is a possibility that everything could go wrong and then everyone will instantly judge you and I don't, I don't want to be judged guys I'm very self-conscious about myself I do not want to be judged okay oh no <laughs> why am I laughing at my own jokes it's not funny I always put an accent on and it makes me laugh oh it's so awkward making videos because you don't know if what you're saying is funny or not uh, because obviously I'm not going to laugh at my own jokes. I'm not that sad, am I? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. The worst. So pretty much, the cumulative amount of hours that we spent doing music, saying we had it one hour a week, uh, we have about 40 weeks in the school year, three school years, that's 120. I hope it is anyway. Yeah, it is. Okay. I can do maths, okay? I'm taking it for A level. I, I should be able to do maths, okay? If I don't get an A in GCSE maths, I'm going to eat 20 chilies. What? <laughs> what the flip are you even talking about? So, okay, let's get this right, okay? So, 120 hours is spent in music. 120 hours is pretty much wasted because I didn't learn anything from music. I mean, oh yeah, I've got some catchy songs stuck in my head for the rest of my goddamn life. Okay, that's all I've learned from music. Thanks. Appreciate it, okay? But 120 hours? That's absurd. I don't understand how we can waste that much time on a subject that's just damn right pointless. Okay, there probably is some incentive to have it compulsory. For example, you'll feel more confident in yourself. I don't really know. But pretty much every single time we had these musical performances, uh, we had to listen to them. So obviously they were reciting them in front of the whole of the class. And me, I had to listen, the whole class had to, had to listen to it. And pretty much they would always laugh at you. Uh, now what actually happened, I think happened in year 7 or 8. So it was quite a while ago. But I've, I've got it like implanted into my mind. It's like a goddamn Vietnam flashback. I, I'm occasionally, I don't know, on the Wii Fit or something. You know, because that's what I do in my free time. I don't, okay, I'm trying to be funny, okay. And I just randomly, I'm just being happy and then I just have a Vietnam flashback. Okay, that's pretty much a representation of how that has shaped my life the worst. So pretty much, we were listening to another group's performance, and I was talking to, to my best friend George Wiles, okay? Yeah, this is my first video, <laughs> I'm really nervous. If you guys watched my videos years ago, you'll know exactly who this is. Uh, but he's alright, you know, I know him now, he's a, he's a lot better than what he used to be. We, Me and him were just talking, and I got told off. Okay, for talking, obviously, because, uh, you know, music is a pointless subject. I mean, I'm going to talk in it if I want, okay? Screw you, authority! I have the authority myself, okay? I'm going to become a warrior. I'm going to become a social justice warrior, okay? How dare you, uh, 
dictate to me what I can do. Saying it was year seven, I was probably going, Oh my god, this, this is so gay. <laughs> That's probably all I was saying. You know in year seven, like the worst insult is gay. And it's just depressing now thinking about it because being gay, there's nothing wrong with it. Well, people call other people gay as an insult in year seven, you know, normal stuff. So right, let's just picture this. Imagine a skinny, bold man, okay, who's about 50 years old and is small. Okay, but obviously because I was in year seven or eight, I was pretty small myself. Pretty, like, he was, like, compassionate about his job. But he did not like kids. Okay, like, he just hated them, okay? Like, he would like some of them, like, the people who are popular, the people who are cool. But the people who are losers, like me, okay, me and How To George over here, it's just a prick too. So what he said is, he was like, I want you to get a chair and sit in the middle of the room. Because we're all standing up. I don't know why we're standing up actually thinking about it. So I went outside to get a chair. And there was a chair underneath the table. So I couldn't actually see the status of the chair. So I didn't know if it was damaged or needed repair. Well, saying it's a school in the UK, everything needs a repair. So, you know, had that level of standard. So I picked up the chair. I walked in the class. There were like 35 people in the class. Per class, there's a lot of people in our school. That's actually why I'm kind of uh, excited to go into sixth form. Because normally they're smaller classes. And that's what I prefer. Because nowadays, in my school, you just have loads of chaos of the cool kids. Then you have the, the gay kids. Then you have the goddamn nerdy kids. Then you have the goddamn geek kids. Then you have... It's too much, okay? I just want to live on my own, okay? I'm lonely, okay? <laughs> I'm just ranting about social... Structure, it's just depressing at this point. So I went in with this chair and he told me to sit in the middle of the room Like this is already embarrassing having to sit in the middle of a room. How odd is that? It's not even embarrassing. It's just got that weird. Okay, I'm not weird So I went in okay, and I put the chair down. I was a bit, you know, annoyed So I, I sat down like like I sat down at max velocity like boom look at that all that force and the chair had three legs and no one told me I was literally in the middle of the room. There was like 30 people staring at me. Everyone was laughing at me before. Like, I don't care. I, I, I'm, I don't really have social anxiety. I'm just insane. Uh, they're, they're different, actually, so sure. Like some people are nervous around people. I'm just too obnoxious. So I'm the complete opposite, which I don't think is particularly good. Like, I'm just saying, okay, let's get this right. I came in with a chair that had three legs. It, was, it wasn't even like a good condition chair, obviously, because I only had three legs. I didn't know it had three legs. I, only th I thought it was just a normal chair, you know. I didn't expect the school to be that cheap that they got to afford chairs with four legs, okay? The teacher looked at the chair and noticed that there was three legs and didn't tell me. So I went to sit down and it hurt so much. Because when you drop your body weight onto the front, because it was the, uh, the front right leg that wasn't there. So I went on and I jumped onto the chair and because all my weight went on the right because there wasn't anything to support it, the back like pushed into me and because it, with school chairs and they are the worst they like dig into your back so you have to like sit up like that or you just do this which is what I do like in maths I'm just like there's just no middle position which sucks so you can't even slouch so it just went directly into my back and just bruised it it actually really hurt and I just fell instantly and everyone was just laughing at me thanks Okay, I could have hurt my back severely. I I, I had like bruises. I, I remember I didn't actually tell my mum about it, so I'm not I'm not very good, am I? <laughs> I literally just kept this to myself, which is probably for the best. I don't know why I'm making a video on it, okay? Oh my god. It actually hurt. Like it genuinely hurt because these are plastic chairs and it hit the back of me with all my like mass, okay? These stories just go on forever. Like this is a two minute story. It's, I've been recording for ten and a half minutes, Jesus Christ. So what do you think the uh, teacher said, you know? Students hurt himself, he's in the middle of the class, he literally toppled over. I'm on the ground at this point. He told me off for being stupid. Hold the flip. You know what being stupid is? Getting a music degree, getting a teaching qualification, and becoming a music teacher in a secondary school. That's stupid. Not picking up a chair and not knowing that it... How? Why am I meant to check? What? It was balancing when I saw it before anyway. Like, I, it was so unobvious. Like, what, what do I have to do from now on? Look at a chair and go, oh, yeah, this one has three legs on, okay? That wasn't surprising at all. What the flip? You are stupid. Get out. He just told me to get out. I literally hurt my back. I was on the floor. It hurt, okay? Everyone was laughing at me. And he's just there going, get out of my classroom now. <laughs>
<laughs> Jesus Christ. I just left. I just left. I went into the uh, next room, which I think was like a drama studio room, and they were having a class there. <laughs> I just walked through them. <laughs> it was so funny. Because the other class was occupied. And I had to, like, walk through a classroom to get to another classroom. I just walked through. <laughs> like, I didn't cry or anything. I was just so angry. Oh, my God. Like, this is why I didn't ever like music, because of this one experience. Anyway, guys, make sure you check that your chair has four legs. If it doesn't, you know, I helped you out. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, and I'll be sure to make more story videos in the future. Uh, watch this story video in which I talk about the worst convenience store ever. It's actually a really funny video, and it did really well. So I don't know why I'm advertising it. I could be advertising a video that's struggling. No, let's advertise a video that's doing well. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Wow, I got that yellow. Oh, 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 I look good. Oh, oh, I look, oh, oh.